I made this sit to stand computer desk utilizing these gas springs to help it go up and down. Not bad, eh? At the time, I couldn't find very much applicable information to this setup, which is different than what you see with a lot of the raising of a cabinet door or something like that. So I'm gonna share with you what I learned so you might be able to use it for your projects. To find my particular desktop height for the sitting position, I clamped angle iron to the table legs Catch and then here. checked it with my good chair and height. computer. Got good support. I'm liking this. For the standing height, I just stacked up wood and stuff until it seemed good. This is going to be good. And then Googled it to make sure I wasn't overlooking anything. I made a scale model of the horizontal lift device with some scrap wood. It took me a few tries to get it right. I couldn't find any examples of this on the internet, which would have saved me some time. I'll put a gas shock in there. This will be over here. And swing it up. And now you're standing. Swing it down. Now you're sitting. Boop. Using the lengths that are for sale and the scale model, I could estimate where the ball joints would be. In the sitting position, I aim to leave a little bit of the spring deployed to avoid bottoming out the piston, which would keep the desk from going all the way down. So the spring that I bought, fully compressed, measures 17.1 inches. But you can see here, fully compressed on my desk, the spring measures closer to 18 inches. I wish I had better information for you for choosing the weight of your gas spring. But since this application is totally different than like the lifting of a cabinet door or a truck bed cover or something like that, I couldn't find any applicable formula. Maybe there's a math major out there that can come up with one for us. So engineering with dead reckoning, I chose 70 pounders and um, they, were, they were a little bit hard to bring the desk down from the standing height. So I swapped those out with the 50 pounders that are on there now and now it still goes up but I can bring it back down a little bit easier. Using the information from my wood scaled model, I could translate that over to steel and make my pieces with precision and accuracy. I love working with steel. This is my third rendition and I moved it back. If you notice, there's a, this one's sticking out and this one's flush. This is a, a precise operation here, these uh, pistons. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this one off. Pop this one on. Still a little warm from those tack welds. Ah, there we go. All right, so that's on there. I might have to move that side forward a little bit. Um, but I have built-in adjustment on that side. So another thing about this project that was a little bit tricky was getting everything lined up. So the um, distances between these things, but more importantly, the angle and the offset. So how far away these things were from everything that they were mounted to. Um, and this took a little bit of uh, trial and error and exploration, um, but it's really <clears throat> important that your gas strut isn't being bent around anything or hitting anything as it's going through its action. So let me show you some of the things that are particular to this situation. So getting the position of this ball joint was kind of tricky because um, I needed it to fit between these two bolts but it also needed to be the right distance. And as I said earlier, I wanted it to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a margin here. So this thing isn't dead ended. And I also needed to have it so when it was fully deployed that um, the desk was at the right height. And then the other thing is, is that it needed to have the right offset. So nothing was touching it. So you'll notice there's a little offset right here and that offset is um, really easy to do when you're welding. I just kind of held it out and then welded it in place. And then the other thing is, is that 
having uh, one side that's adjustable was important. If I didn't have a MIG welder, I'd probably want both of my sides to be adjustable. So what, what I did is I moved this one forward about four millimeters. Room on this bolt and room on this bolt for full operation. All right, that's it. Now I just have to adjust this one to match that one. For more information on this desk and how I made it, click right here.